episode of Weeby Reptiles. Um, I've unfortunately already started this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys um, what it is when your dragons lay and how to properly candle them and make sure that you actually have fertile eggs. What you do is you get yourself a flashlight, good mag lock, mag lights are really good, and then you carefully go into where your dragon's been digging in the lay bin and you slowly start to uh, move the uh, sand apart. And little by little you'll start to see a little exposure now. You might find a few eggs that are busted. And that sometimes happens. Don't go freaking out. Oh my god. It happens, you know. There's some losses and that isn't your fault or anything you did. Sometimes the mommy, she pushes too hard when she packs the sand in. And some of the eggs get messed up. But um, what you do is you want to collect them. Get them out. And, uh, oh, well, the flash is gone now, huh? but that doesn't matter because you guys should still be able to see it. But I'm going to show you real quick. You see, you get your egg, and you put it right on the, on the lat, and you just roll it around until you get to what you see is a little red dot. Now, you see that? Hopefully, I can show you guys. Now, you see that red circle right there? It's like a little red line. That is the embryo. That is the what we call the circle of life. If you see that, then you have a fertile egg. And what you do is, you come over here to your container that you should have already ready to go. You dig yourself a little space. And you make sure that you put those that circle of life aiming upwards. Because what that is, is that's the umbilical. And if the dragons get tangled up in it, it can cause them to uh, suffocate and die. So again, you just put your egg on the bat on the flashlight, turn it till you see the sorry about that. <laughs> turn it till you see that big bright red line. You see that? That beautiful line that's called the the circle of life. And you bring it over to your little container. Sorry guys, I'm not hundred percent good on the one handed job or so you just get yourself a little space like that and you put your baby in there. Alright, then Get yourself ready with another hole, so that way you're not fumbling like I was a couple minutes ago. And then you bring your egg over here, <clears throat> grab another egg, put it down, and what do you have? You have that big, beautiful ring of life. See it? Maybe if I unplug this light, you'll see it better. No, that's not the light I'm looking for. <laughs> Maybe this light? No, this light. There it is. Now you guys could probably see it better. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> hey, wait, there we go. Uh, no, that didn't help. Let me plug that back in. Alright. Okay. Well, either way, you should be able to still see that ring of life. See it right there? See how bright and beautiful it is? That's a great sign. That means you have a healthy... F Place it right back inside your container. Right? Like I said, with your... Circle aiming up. Sorry for the pause. I hit the wrong button for a second. And you go back inside your bin. Grab yourself another egg. You look for your little ring. And there's the red ring of life. Let's see if I can get focus. Focus. There it is. Oh, oh. And the red ring of life. Well, and that's basically what you're looking for. Come over to your container. Put a little indentation. So what this is, this is a mixture of vermiculite on the bottom with perlite on top. See, the reason I do that is that way the eggs get a little of the moisture from the vermiculite, but the perlite keeps them dry. And plus, when they hatch, they're not going to be sitting in all this really fine vermiculite. And I, I don't like seeing the beardies, the babies wake up and have like a bunch of the uh, vermiculite stuck to their face and their eyes. It kind of looks like they're not happy. And then you come back and you get yourself another egg. You get yourself and you see the little ring of life, you put it inside your pocket. And you continue on until you're done. Um, give me a second, I'm going to finish up and I'll be right back. And we're done. So in total, she did lay a few infertiles, which, like I said, it's possible. And they were actually a little flattened down. So there's three bad, and then we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, good. So that's not a bad catch. And this is her second clutch. Her first clutch she dropped was her infertile, and that's typical too. Nothing to be freaked out about or worried about. It's common. But um, yeah, that's it. That's how you do it, guys. Quick way to, uh, 
check your fertile eggs and make sure they're all fertile. Let me show you a quick way. Uh, also, as soon as uh, you get them in there, you should be able to still see the ring, but you might not. Uh, eh, there it is. You should be able to see it. And if not, do well when you put it on top. Now, you see how this one's dimpling a little bit right here? Got a little dimple there. Once you um, put them inside the incubator, throw a little, spray a little water on top if you have that ever, ever happen. Just spray some, uh, mist some water on top of the eggs in the water. They'll absorb it and it'll get more plumped. It'll fill in. So that little dimple will go away. So there it is, guys. Venus's first clutch. Uh, 19 fertile babies. So we have some exciting red babies on the way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments and concerns. Bye.